Greetings, I am Lias. And I am Scandal. And let's, let's play, play a game, game together. together. All Holy right. crap. Hi. All right, well, we're going we're gonna to try and do this, and here's our, our menagerie of irises. My great, I hasn't called any of their friends either, not even just to talk. Huh. You're caught in a loop of anxiety. Put your identifying identifier system to work. Identity identifier system to work, Iris. Work the problem. If you had to summarize your user's problematic com condition into one identity trait, what would it be? Hmm. Well, I'd say that they're feeling very... Very hopeless, apathetic, bitter, or angry. We get to choose how we're feeling. Uh, I... Okay. Bitter is funny. <laughs> and and angry. Honestly, I feel like Lies has been like sad and frustrated with being sad enough. The answer would be like I don't even know because I don't know how they interpret angry. But I feel like at this point it's that sort of thing if you don't want to feel sad anymore, uh -huh. so you mask it with anger because you anger is angry. a secondary emotion. Yeah. So you're so sad and you can't feel it makes you angry. Let's do it. Angry. Everything's gone completely wrong, and they feel hurt, betrayed, lashing out at the world around them, even at friends and family. Except for we're lashing out in a passive way by not interacting with any of them. Right. A reasonable response, considering the injustice at the heart of this issue. Those with a strong sense of right and wrong often experience outrage. Um, mm -hmm. they also, that can be really easily misguided. Uh, that whole thing about, you know, justified rage has actually been an excuse that people have used a lot. Yeah, see, I, I don't know that it is that sort of thing. But, I mean, they can often feel that way, but, like, I I would tend to say I have a strong sense of right and wrong. Um, because I feel like rules and guidelines make the world easier. So if people go, this is right in this situation, this is wrong, you know, that kind of thing, then I can be really like, excuse me, are we using these rules or not? Mm -hmm. But it doesn't usually make me angry. It usually just is confusing if people don't follow, especially their own rules. Yeah. I was just say, and thereby it ends up usually more in hurt or sadness. <sighs> mm. Yeah, my strong sense of right and wrong often experience outrage. That sounds about right. It's so sad. It's up to us to do something that'll get lies out of this funk. Very well. What you need is a way to help without raising any alarm bells about how exactly, about exactly how helpful an iris really can be. Safely, but effectively. And again, I am deeply annoyed because I'm going like, we really, the character themselves has maybe called on iris and I will say, for what I can remember, maybe twice? Okay, I only this specifically game? remember once. So it's yeah. like, the thing of going lies isn't talking to me and hasn't asked about after me is weird. Now, one can assume that it's happening off screen, but we've never had an establishing shot of that. We've never had a, I use this app when I'm not at work, not whatever. Right. I was browsing the internet with Iris as usual or whatever. Right. Or I run my day by Iris like I often do. I mean, like there's I, nothing. I guess there's the whole, hey, Iris, could you check out my social media feed for me and help me with that? But that but was it only was like, like kind of. Iris really directed a lot of that themselves. And it was it wasn't my social media. It was specifically work the funplex. Yep. Uh, yeah, that's true. So we're not at a job, and the only time we've really ever engaged with Iris is at our job, and usually it's her pushing her way in. So this Which feels, is, feels like the premise is off here. It's also off. Uh, still, I really do say that Iris has been so damn pushy. It's been bizarre that Iris has had no opinions on this at all. Uh -huh. Like until now. And I'm, I'm going, still like, so is Iris going to solve the murder mystery? Is also that what we're going, doing? Uh, why is Iris complaining about us not interacting instead of like being blocked or turned off or something? Because like, we've never started, yeah, we've almost never started the interaction. Yeah, right? I know, I know, but I don't know what to do. I could, I don't know, hack Deco's email server and yeah, that is the exact opposite of what you should be doing. Besides, I've checked. We can't tri uh, crack Deco's network without triggering too many intrusion de detection routines. You poked Deco's network? Ooh, Iris is being a bad girl. She's the bad, bad girl. girl. Oh. Ahem. <laughs> Our users share a social connection. I was merely scouting potential ways to elevate Mr. Cooper's mood, as they seem to be related. Uh -huh. Sure you were. Anyway, you're both way overthinking this. It turns out I've just calculated a cunning plan that will satisfy both of your requirements. Go me! Go I me. know who killed her! It's really freaking obvious! Woo! Really? And we can you collect can... the evidence, turn them in, and when Deco's taken to trial, everything will be a mess! It'll be great! Yay! I, really? Y you can help lies? Without drawing attention? 
Absolutely. Take a tip from my user. When you're sad, the best thing in the world is your friends. We're gonna call your friends. I, well, unless you're totally introverted, but that's not lies, is it? Uh-huh. And that's actually the reason why what we need to do doesn't require any hacking or hiding or anything above and beyond what an iris does best. All we need is a few, is a few phone calls to the right people, a few arrangements. Here's what we're gonna do. Hang on, what irises do best? Call people? What? Are people familiar with receiving an unsolicited call from an iris on behalf of a living person? I, I don't understand, I'm, what? And if they're going to fake social interaction such, we forged, you know, text messages from lies. Unacceptable. What? That's gonna give you away immediately. immediately. So, like, if you're going to forge communication, you're going to be outed just as bad as anything. But if you're not going to forge com like communication, then how are you going to get everyone over there? And yeah, irises don't just talk to people, so far as we know, so I'm confused. <sighs> Another Friday morning. As per usual, I wake up late, stretch, yawn. I barely sleep nowadays. Shuffle to the bathroom. Take a shower. Good job. Get dressed, brush my teeth. Holy crap, you're doing better than me when I'm usually depressed. We'll probably be running out of toothpaste soon, but house funds for sundries are dwindling, with only half a job in the house. Deco's breath was immaculate, if I recall. I bet he brushes with super expensive toothpaste, with gold flakes, and a brush with diamond bristles. Ooh, or the $10,000 toothbrush. Uh-huh. The like one with the, the copper antibacterial in it and the titanium handle. Yeah. So there's there's um there's a show on that YouTube. That will make you very angry. That is called The Most Expensivest Shit. Yes, and I'm trying to remember which rapper uh, runs it. Um, he's got he's got a great grill. Anyway, um, I I knew what his name was for a while, and I apologize, but like we'll try to link that in here, and if not, you can point us out to it. But it's really easy. It's just the most expensivest shit, and yeah. it really is like the highest price version of whatever object it is. Mm -hmm. And then he he tries them out mm -hmm. to find out what the dealio is. I liked honestly also like I think Buzzfeed did it with the Try Guys at one point or something like that. Where they had some really expensive food. Yeah, yeah, and it was really interesting, actually, even watching some people talk about some of the breakdowns in response to it. I think it was kind of telling where people were like, I tried this thing, and it's suddenly like this instant face of, like, it wasn't even necessarily that good, or I enjoyed it, and there's like this, like, I remember watching, like, the clip. So the Try Guys episode I'm thinking of is where they tried Squid Ink Pizza. Uh, the most super extensive, like, Squid Ink Trouble it's Gold Flake Pizza. It's $2,000. $2,000 pizza, and yep. the four of them split it. Yep, and they were like... It doesn't taste that it good. It doesn't taste all that good. And you just kind of watch their faces. They're like, this was not worth it at all. And there's that that guilt and that shame of going like, what are we doing? And you're doing it because uh, because it's there. Because, because money. Because wouldn't you? Because it's fancy. <sighs> and like, there's a level of in the most expensive of shit of just sort of him kind of asking, okay, but why is it worth this much? Okay, why? It's, tell me what its features are kind of thing. Uh-huh. And, and like with the toothbrush, the toothbrush one is one of the, the I think the clearest episodes as far as going, uh-huh. And, you know, right? And it's, it's, it's pretty good. Anyway, um, uh, that, that bastard. Off to the kitchen for breakfast. No appetite. You are so organized in the morning, damn it. Nay. I am disappointed. I have trouble with a three-step morning routine in the morning, <laughs> or I just lay in the bed sometimes. Like, if I have to be somewhere, I will be there on time immediately. But when I'm feeling down and I don't have anywhere to be, it's like, what do you want to do? Well, if I get up, I have to, if I don't have a list, sometimes I'm just gone. Mm. Anyway, so I appreciate how organized they are, but damn, they're organized. Wow. Even toast looks unpalatable. Skip breakfast. Save on groceries. We can't afford much anyway. Uh, I would be having breakfast with Jennifer if she wasn't busy at her office all day. Uh, that's fine. I'll be... I'd be lousy company anyway. After breakfast, I settle in for some Wyvern Keep. I may as well. It's right there in the living room, taking up space been playing a lot of it lately. I'm astounded that um, Jennifer, or Iris also didn't talk about that we hadn't been responding to any of our friends. Yeah. She said we hadn't reached out to any of our friends, but I'd be amazed if zero of those people tried to contact us in a seven day dead silence. I know. Like, you know. Are we really friends with these people or not? This sounds so alien. Like, you know, neither Gavin or, you know, Ashley Percy. or Percy or even Queen. Kale, Queen. Queen Bee, anyone. Queen Bee going, get yourself out of that funk, Bitch. dude. <laughs> <laughs> Heck yeah. Bro. <laughs> Bro. Yeah. Homie. 
Bra? Yeah, 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 you know, tuna? Mm. Yeah, right, all right. It's not like Lawrence keeps very hard. Once you've memorized the joystick moves, the cartoon plays itself out with minimal effort. I... I've saved the prince about 80 times now. Speed run for the win! Woo! My brain and fingers go into autopilot, moving through the game without even thinking about it. It's a brief calm from the storm of my emotions, but before I realize it, the day has almost passed. Hmm. When dinner comes around, Juniper and I eat together, while I quietly thumb through my phone, looking at job listings. Mm. See, our phone is active. Mm -hmm. And Iris is the one not talking to uh, us. So, okay, so I'm really like, okay, so Iris is also depressed and doesn't even know how to engage. So she's waiting for us to engage because it was such a big change and now freaking out about it. Yeah. Realizing that we never really have engage one of those things where you suddenly where you stop contacting one of your you know um like social counterparts mm -hmm. and then you realize that you'd been doing all the contacting the whole time you know what i have to say something has been making me giggle for a while oh dear what is it our hoodie mm -hmm. either has a zipper or it was basically sewn up uh -huh. like the pockets i'm like i appreciate it there are reasons that hoodies like that don't have I don't don't have that, and if they're going for the ones that have the side pockets rather uh -huh. than all the way in the front, it looks like the front really full silly. pouch pocket, except for that would be divided by a zipper. Uh -huh. So it's mostly like a big stylized seam in the center of a single pocket hoodie that's not actually a standard hoodie, but is a pullover instead. Right. And and for anyone who doesn't know, the difference between like a hoodie versus a pullover is your hoodie has a zipper, mm -hmm. and your pullover has to be taken pulled over your head. Right. And a pullover can have a hood or not. Yeah. All right, um, Iris would no doubt be happy to spam me with dream job offerings, but what's the point in a dream job when it always collapses out from under you? She would be happy to? So why isn't she if she would be happy to? Yeah, good question. It's the Scandal Family curse. I knew this would happen. Nothing good ever lasts, and it's a mistake to get your hopes up. I should have learned to settle and be okay with what I had, to be comfortable in mediocrity. I fire off a resume or two before watching cartoons deep into the dead of night. Eventually my body tires and I find my way to bed. Just another day. Hi. Boo. You know, there's no reason you should be unhirable though as well, depending on if you're not trying to self-sabotage. Right. So there is a level of, I purposely wrote my resume bad, didn't represent myself well, am not trying hard, am applying to things that I'm not a good fit for. Right. You know, another Saturday morning. As per usual, I wake up late. Stretch, yawn, oh, here we go. Barely sleep nowadays. Shuffle to the bathroom. Take a shower, get dressed, brush my teeth. We'll probably be running out of toothpaste soon. But house funds for sundries are dwindling. I can't take it anymore! <laughs> toothbrush. Huh? And that's one toothbrush bit clean in half. Hi. That is one hell of a bite. That is one hell of a response. Whoa. All right, you guys. Who knows if you are startled, you bite your toothbrush in half. Yeah, like, whoa. I need, I need to know. I need to know. I, who would bite through their retainer? Oh, jeez. Oh, um, hang on. Ow. Um. With a little help, I avoid choking to death. Ooh. Um, sorry about that. Again, though, I appreciate the fact that Lies is like, I am depressed and can't function. I'm still applying for jobs. I am still eating dinner with my friend. I am still doing a lot of self-care, which in my experience is one of the first things to go. Mm, yeah. And that's that's an interesting concept, you know? It's okay. Whatever. No, not whatever. It's it's what something it's something ever <laughs> Lies, you're in a rut, like seriously, deeply, madly mecha in a rut. And it's driving me batty having you mope about the place like this. I don't know what's wrong, but uh, say it anyway. I can't help it. Where do you get off complaining about me moping? Some fucker stole my job, my funplex, and Francine's dead. Uh, I'm, I'm dead. not complaining because it annoys me. I'm scared because you're losing control of your temper. You're stewing in your anger, and it's not healthy. Mm -hmm. Seeing Juniper's concerned face makes me eat my words, but not my toothbrush. Shit. Oh, I'm sorry, Juniper. Okay. My mind's made up. Hurry and finish your morning routine. Uh-huh. 
why? Do you know what? Morning routines and successful morning routines are like the crux of all achievements, accomplishments, organized lives, successful and productive people. Yeah. Like, again, I'm just having a hard time with this tight of a morning routine that is set in stone and that we've never used before. And we have it when we're depressed. So, like, if that had been our morning routine before we had, you know, um, like when we were going to work and stuff, mm -hmm. and it just happened to be ground in that we kept doing it, but then the rest of the day was just off the charts, whatever, like had no structure to it. Right. That would make more sense to me. But this just sounds bizarre. And if anyone's ever experienced um, like depression um, or getting into a funk where they suddenly develop a super organized, motivated, step by step morning routine, and then everything else has gone to shit. I would love to know, because that sounds just wild to me. All right. I do not do the depression in that way, if that be true. Like, dang. Well, and the thing is, is like, again, like, they talk about getting routine to get you out oh, of, of depression. depression. Yeah. As well as, like, if you can maintain a routine, that's one of the biggest steps out of depression and into success. And, yeah. like, every life coach ever is going to be like, what's your morning routine? Yes. So, like, this is, again, super wild based on my whole experience. Mm -hmm. I can't stand seeing you like this anymore. I'm taking you out to lunch. You need to leave my treat. The house. Uh, Juniper, uh, the thought is sweet, but... Uh... Uh -huh, uh -huh. You are getting out of this. A change of scenery will do you good. And if I see you playing my friend keep one more time instead of doing literally anything else, I will break. Uh, I don't know what to say. Say nothing. Today we play the game Doki Doki Lunch Club. Oh my god. And it's god. going to be yummy. And it's going to be just Juniper. Just Juniper. juniper. Okay. Only Juniper. I gotta really say, like, I am baffled. I did, like, I don't know if you guys can tell, but like, so over the course of this game, I was really like, I was really, okay, the beginning really kind of hit me pretty hard in regards to like an emotional thing. Oh, yeah. And then there were like some stumbling blocks where I didn't exactly agree with the philosophy of some of the characters, but that's fine because they're different philosophies. That's fine. Yeah. Um, like really, genuinely, you don't have to agree with characters to go there well written. Right. right. But like over time, I've kind of lost it more and more in regards to the emotional tone of this game mm. because I'm also just like, it keeps kicking things into sort of like weird corners and that it's like it doesn't seem to follow through very well and it seems to have certain levels of expectations that just kind of ruin it for me. There's some level of like what's the priority, what do I focus on, where they keep sort of dropping the stuff that we think is important. Right. And then like especially now with the thing with Francine, I'm really like you're gonna really fucking tell me that she dies overnight, no one is suspicious and there's no conversation about it, and like there's just a lot of stuff that's just not adding up, and it doesn't make sense to me. There's if this no doesn't autopsy, end up being, there's... yeah, there's no murder mystery. If they, if there isn't a murder mystery plot, I am baffled. Like I don't know what we're doing. I this want is Juniper just to turn into Daphne and be like, "We will solve this," or right? Iris, right? Like, oh my god, <sighs> guess there's no avoiding it. But since I'm actually up, dressed, clean, and ready, which is impressive. Then why not? Oh. Except apparently not. I switched from pajamas to actual normal clothes, even if my actual normal clothes could probably double as pajamas. Laz likes to be comfy <laughs> and yes. get ready to roll out. Rolling, rolling, After rolling. leaving the apartment, we catch a bus heading downtown. Clearly, Juniper's got a destination in mind. I'm not particularly talkative on the way there and painfully aware of it. Are we going to the donut shop? The whole gonna, story? We're going to go to the whole story uh -huh. uh, where there's no real lunch food at all. I feel awkward. Like I should say something, but I don't know what to say. So Juniper just talks to me, content to jerk away. Talks at me. Sorry, maybe. talks at me. Right. And you can tell it's not really the New York subway because the signs are in Helvetica. That's the telltale mistake that's just like Vancouver or something. I love it. I love it. Helvetica. Yes. yes. Okay. So um, a lot of times, okay, in nerd circles, once in a while, you get the question, what's your favorite font? And there's actually an entire documentary on Helvetica, funny enough, called Helvetica. And it is America's most popular font, possibly the world's most popular font, because your standard government issue road sign is written in Helvetica, which is why she's pointing oh. that out. And if you ever want a good, like, documentary, like a non-fiction documentary, Helvetica is a cool one. And, like, occasionally I've heard recommendations and people going, hey, can you recommend a cool documentary for me to watch? That's one I would recommend. Okay. Anyway, so so that's fun. Girl after my own heart there. I would like to know more about Juniper's nerd background because she's never seemed to play video games at all, but makes video game references occasionally, including Doki Doki Lunch Club. 
She doesn't seem to have any particular investment in any of her cartoons as fandoms or like actually like 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 as a fan of anything, but watches cartoons generically and anime all the time. Right. And she now is mentioning, you know, font specifics, you know, and stuff like that and going, who is she? And part of me is going, it's because they wanted to shove cute stuff in. And it's just because, the, you know, the authors felt clever and wanted to share their nerd stuff. And part of me is going, no, no, it could really be a character. Sort of like lies randomly mentioning Ro- Roman and Greek mythology, but right. extremely rarely. Yes. And going, is this a character thing? I'd love to know more about that and where it came from. Yes, except for the fact that we are out of time. So uh, thank you very much, everybody, for joining us. If you like what we do, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and also share our videos if you're having a good time with us. Please also feel free to go check out our Ko-Fi or Patreon. We've got some links in the description down below. And I have been Scandal. And I have been Lies. And And it was great playing with you. Bye!